Hello, I am Hello, I am Hansel Isnani, or just Isna for short. I am ISMA 2022 awardee from Prince of Songkla University, and I study in Faculty of Liberal Arts. In this video, I would like to talk about one of the courses that I took during my ISMA program, and it is Literary Representation of Others. What I love the most about this topic is that it opened my eyes, my mind, and it made me rethink about everything. I never knew how strong the word others is until I took this course. So let's get started with a brief concept of othering. Who is the others or probably what is the others? Or might be where or when is the others? And what does it need to be the others? Othering generally means to point out any differences from one to another to exclude, judge or label someone or something. The others in this case includes race, religion, gender, political views, social classes, or even species. Now that we have understood the concept of the others, let's move on to one of the most interesting and memorable topics. And for the second half of this course, we use Bangkok Wakes to Rain, novel by Pichaya Sutvantad as a reference. This is a great novel if you want to understand more about othering and you can find the details about these novels here. So, let's pick up where we left off. My favorite topic of this subject is the other ideology and I would like to specifically point out the chapter outpour from the novel. This chapter talks about a mass protest in Bangkok told from the point of view of an engineering student named Siripong. Well, what makes it interesting is that this is a real tragedy, a real event, took place in Bangkok in 1973 and 1976. Well, 1973 was just the beginning, while 1976 was the peak point of this event. There are two ideologies that we are going to talk about in this chapter. The first one is the student side who demanded for democracy restoration, and the other side is the government, the military government, who has broken their promise to restore democracy. Siripong led the university student in the 1973's protest and he contributes a lot in this protest, starting from planning for the transport and logistic matters and then building makeshift toilets. He even helped to clean out the toilets when the one who assigned for the job leave their duties. But then one day, the military opens fire to the protesters. Siripong manages to leave, but several of his friends are injured or even killed. As a result, the university suspends Siripong, while the field marshal, also known as the government military, goes into exile. In 1976, the field marshal returns to Bangkok. Siripong and his girlfriend, Ni, want to participate in the protest once again, but sadly this is not a good ending. The National Army shoots and bombs the protesters who gather at the football field of the campus. Siripong is severely injured and he asks Ni to leave him, but Ni chooses to stay. When Siripong bleeds a lot and Ni could not take that side any longer, she chooses to escape. So, that is the summary of this chapter. And for more information, this tragedy in 1976 is also known as the Thammasat University Massacre and it is commemorated every October 6th in Thailand. The official reports that the military killed 46 protesters in that day, but observers believe that the death toll was much more than that. Another book you can read if you want to know more and you want to gain more information about this unfortunate history is The Moments of Silence by Tong Chai Winichakul as one of the participants of that event. So that is all I have to talk about in this video. I know it's a quiet, heavy topic to talk about, but I hope by talking about this topic, we can all learn on how to respect each other's ideology, opinion, political views, religion, or any differences in general. And rather than conflicting or confronting our differences, we can all live in peace and harmony. Alright, this is the end, and I hope we can all gain new information and knowledge from this video. See ya!